Hello again everybody, Reggie Time here and we have another hand today but before we get into that I'm just going to show the result from yesterday's hand for those of you who, who watched the video and are interested to see what our friend turned up with. We reached the river on this hand um, we just go back and play it all the way from pre-flop very quickly for you guys. Raise we call, we 6-5, we check back the float, we turn the flush, bet raise, we just call. Uh, the original better folds river and opponent leads out again into us and we had the decision do we want to raise small fold do we want to just call or do we want to jam those are the three choices most guys just seem to elect to go with the call which kind of pleased me because that's what i went with too so i did just call and our opponent turned up with the nine six straight which is kind of ambitious uh, for a regular opening 9-6 from the hijack. It seems a little bit surprising to me that somebody will be opening so wide from that position, but um, maybe I'm just an old nit, who knows. So there you go, that's the result of that hand. I'm now just about to load up. I'm going to pause the video for a second and load up today's hand. So here we move on to today's hand. We have... Um, King 7 suited in the cutoff and this player open limps which is surprising given his stats 2918 I'm not really sure what he'll be open limping with maybe it's a misclick or something who knows um, I didn't know anything about the guy both players in this hands are we can consider them as complete unknowns to us so I didn't know anything about him we went to isolate with the King 7 suited, which I think is completely standard. We pick up a hitchhiker in the big blind and the limper comes along and calls. And we smash the flop with two pairs. It's a very clear value bet here. Um, don't expect this guy to have too much King X in his range, but who knows about this chap. Um, and also there's like plenty of like straight draws, cut shots, that sort of thing out there. So it's a, obviously it's a slam dunk value bet. Um, and I got pretty big with multi-way. Um, I just want to start building a pot, really big, really big pot, so we can hopefully get some fat value later in the hand. Big blind calls and the original limp caller folds. We get a completely brick river, which uh, is brick turn, which is com really it's as safe as it gets. Obviously, he checks again. I elect to go for a pretty large bet once he calls the flop. Um, I'm just hoping he's got a king at this point, I guess and maybe he's just still in there calling with 10 8 um, 6 8 that type of thing so uh, yep we do the bet he calls again which is obviously really nice for us and we get the 10 of spade river which i was planning to probably check back on if i'm honest um i think the pot's plenty big enough now 25 dollars i'd be more than happy to take this down check back and have him show i don't know whatever ace nine king jack king whatever but unfortunately our friend leads out and like he puts whatever that is four fifths of his stack in it turns out to be a half pot size bet he puts half of his stack in and the question is do we call do we jam for the last three pound three dollars 45 cents or do we fold I think I mentioned that one. Call, raise, or fold. I think they're the three. They're, well, obviously, there are always the three options we can have. Um, I'm not going to give my thoughts away because it'll kind of give away what I did. But yeah, um, just look at the board section, look at the way the boards run out, and what would you do in this situation with your King 7 versus a unknown player who started without a full stack and who's gone check, call, check, call, bet on that board texture? Um, yeah, let me know what you would do. Let me know what you think of the hand. Let me know what you think of the format of these. I'm more into just maybe doing four or five of these short videos per week. It's it's quite useful to me. It's quite easy to do, and especially whilst I'm playing on AAA at the moment. I'm learning or practicing to six table again, six table snap. I'm getting about twelve hundred hands per hour, which is pretty cool. I'm just doing it at thirteen or ten and at the moment, whilst I get back up to speed. Um, and I'm trying to just like find a style and a strategy that works without having to go into like tons and tons of deep thought because it's hard to have deep thought when you're playing thousand to twelve hundred hands per hour. So yep, yeah, um a lot of these are gonna be 
relatively readless. This is definitely readless. The only read we really had was his stack size at the start of the hand. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you would do. Let me know what you think his range looks like. And um, yeah, we'll be back in the next day or so and I'll post a result before the next hand comes up. Bye-bye for now.